Hi, my teammates. How are you? So, uh, today I want to explain to you a lot of things in Spanish language. Okay. Now, today we will understand the preposition in Spanish. And today you have to repeat after me. Repeat after me. Ah. Literally, what is ah? Ah is to and at. Now, for example, we say in, in, in English, ah, to, at. Okay? So, read aloud with me, ah. We use as a preposition, ah is a word in Spanish. One second, I'm just getting a phone call. One second, please. Yeah. Okay, I'm so sorry, my teammates. So, literally, uh, just say for example, we have a, uh, what is a, uh, which is to and at. Now, for example, sorry, <clears throat> I just got a phone call. Yeah. So, now, for example, if I'll say they travel to friends, they Today, you will come to know a lot of things, my teammates, and please understand it very carefully. They travel to France. So, what is they? Ellos. Via Caron a Francia. Why it's Via Caron? My teammates, it is very important to understand. First, okay, let me explain to you. We have a verb, Via Car. Viakar is my verb to travel. Is it clear to my teammates? Now, today you will come to know the present and past also. Now, for example, what is past and present in Spanish? Now, first of all, we have to understand the preposition to. We have a. Is it clear to you? I mentioned over here, ellos viajaron a Francia. It means they travel to France. The one thing. Read aloud. Via car is my verb to travel. Read aloud, please. Via car. Now, what is the conjugation of a running verb? You know, in Spanish, if your verb is ending with er in present tense, you will say o, as, a, amos, ice, a. So, what is via co? Tell me. Via co is I travel. What is via cars? You travel. What is via car? He, she travels. What is via car most? They travel. What is via kais? Via kais? It means vosotros. Via kais. And ellos, ellas? Via car. Is it clear to you, my friend? Now, let me explain to you. I'm saying they traveled is a past. What is the formula of past in terms of air and a verb? My teammates, it's very important to understand the formula of past tense with air and a verb. Read aloud. A, aste, o. A, aste, o. <coughs> Read aloud, please. A, aste, o, amos, asteis, aron. Amos, asteis, aron. So let's read aloud with me. A, aste, o, my teammates, read aloud. A, we use for yo, because this is the formula of past tense, my teammates. So, if I ask you, I traveled, what do you say? VRK. If I will say, 
points right there. Let me write it down. If I still get the bottom this. VRK. What is VRK? VRK is I travel in if you have accent, okay? Via Kaste. What is Via Kaste? Aste. Via Kaste is what? You travel. It means to Via Kaste. El Eya Osted Via Ko. Nosotros Via Kamos. Vosotros Via Kasteis. Pen down, please. Via Kasteis. And ellos, ellas, we are caron. We are caron. For this reason, we have mentioned over here, they travel to France. Ellos, we are caron. Now, France, yeah. Now, for example, por ejemplo, you use. Now, pen down one translation, please. You use anything. For example, you use present tense and pen down, please. Let me write it down. Over here we can write it down. You use present tense, but yes, it is important to create something. In past tense, because in order to learn and understand a language, it is required to practice with the past activity. Now you have to translate the same content. Okay. What is use? We have verb usar. It means you use to usas. Usas present tense, the present time. Tiempo presente. The present time we're talking about. When we're talking for the present time. Usas tiempo presente. Pero but Yes, see, si. what is yes, see, si. is important, it is important to, 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 to create something, I would say. Is it clear to you, my team? So we have verb crear. Okay, crear algo. Es importante crear algo en tiempo pasado. What is pasado? Pasado, we have past. Usas, use. Tiempo presente, the time present, pero eso es importante. It is important. Crear algo, to create something. Es tiempo presente. Porque, because. What is porque? Because. Para aprender y entender un idioma. To learn. Para. To learn. Aprender. Y entender. And to understand. Un idioma. A language. Se requiere practicar. It is, it is required to be practiced. The practice is required. It is required. Requiere. We have verb requiere to practice. Requiere practicar con las actividades with the activities del pasado, with the activities of the past tense, pasado. For example, for example, now pen down please. If I ask to you, you have to speak and you need to describe Something in past, but yes, or but yes, I just 
want to analyze how you can craft a language. How you can speak one for the language if it is totally new for you. But yes, I assume that you are learning. You are speaking. Now, my teachers, if I asked you, we have a verb regular, if you remember, we have a verb regular, is to ask. What I'm saying is, see, if I ask to you, they Pregunto. Why te pregunto? Because I ask his word. Yo pregunto. Yo pregunto. Now, now, ahora, for example, preguntar is to ask. Pregunto. I asked you. Tere se in Hindi. Tere se pushta hu mein. Mein pushta hu. Tere se. Te. Si te pregunto. See, te pregunto. You have to tienes que. We have done tengo que tienes que. Okay. Now tienes que hablar. Y necesitas describir algo en pasado. You have to speak hablar. It is required necesitas. Necessary. Describe to describe something in past. Algo in pasado. Pero yes. Si. Pero but. Yes. Si. Solo quiero analizar. Como puedes aprender un idioma. Yes. But yes. Pero. Pero. What is pero? Pero is but. Pure aja. Pero is. But, see, si, yes, solo quiero, just, what is solo? Solo is just, solo quiero, I just want, solo quiero analizar, I just want to analyze. Como, how, with this. What is play this? Play this is you can. Is I'm just getting a phone call. One second, please. Hello. Okay, I'm so sorry, my teammates. I just got a phone call, okay? Now, we were solo, just. I just want solo, quiero, I want. Analiza, to analyze. Analiza, to analyze. Como puedes aprender un idioma? Very simple, how to learn a language. Is it clear to you? 
come up with this. Now repeat exactly you repeat after me. So come up with this. Aprender un idioma. How to learn a language, my dear. Como, no, repeat after me. Como fue this? Aprender un idioma? Is it clear to you? It is very important. It's muy importante. Repite después de mí. <clears throat> what I'm saying. Repite después de mí. Es muy importante que tú, que usted repite this was the me that you please repeat after me. Repeat this was the me. How you can speak one for a language? Como puedes hablar un idioma extranjero? It's simple. Si es totalmente nuevo para ti, when it's already new for you, for, for you para ti. Como puedes hablar un idioma? How to, to, to speak a language? Idioma extranjero. Si es totalmente nuevo para ti. When it's totally new for you, my teammates. But yes, pero si. I assume. I assume. Supongo. Que. That you are learning. Now I will explain to you. Aprendiendo. My teammates, you know, you are learning. I am learning. One thing you to understand, I already have explained to you in Spanish, you have two types of ISMR. One is estar and one is ser. Whenever you have a situation temporary, I already have explained to you, you have to use estar verb. But whenever you are using, you know, the present continuous tense, in that case, you have to use estar verb plus you know, speak, speaking, understand, understanding. So this is ING format English. What is ING format in English? ING format is yendo in Spanish. Aprender, aprendiendo. Something I am speaking. Estoy. Why estoy? Because yo estoy, estoy, es, tu estás, estoy aprendiendo. I am speaking. Estoy now, hablando, because if your verb is ending from with er, the ing pattern is yendo. If your verb is ending from ar, the ing pattern is ando, hablando. Is it clear? Repite después de mí. Estás hablando. You are speaking. I am speaking. Estoy hablando. Is it clear to you, my teammates? See? Eso es muy importante. Que usted, that you practice, practica. Is it clear to you? So, my teammates, we have a verb to assume. What is my verb to assume? Tell me, my teammates. Assume. We have a verb, asumir. We have a verb, supono, supon, uh, sorry, supone. Supone. Supone que, I assume that. Asumir, supone que. So read aloud, my teammates. I'm just giving you new words. The one we have, aprovechar. Read it out, please. Aprovechar. Aprovechar is my vocab to something, you know, to take the advantage of. Aprovechar. Aprovechar. So what I want is, my teammates, now you came to a lot of things. I want you make a content to yourself. Now you can do this. If well, now you can do this. What I will. Ahora. Tu puedes hacerla. You can do this. Yeah. 
So my team is, you please uh, practice and send me, you know, a whole paragraph, maybe a one full page or two full page of anything you, you can translate in Spanish. Okay.